Hi friends. Welcome to Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. What is a zola? Well, it is nothing but a free-floating water fern consisting of a short, branched, floating stem bearing roots which hang down in the water. It's kind of green fodder grown on water surface. Why the azola cultivation is increasing and becoming popular? Because, azola has many nutrient benefits when compared to other fodders. Where can it be grown? Well, it can be cultivated in ponds, ditches and rice fields of warm temperate and tropical regions throughout the world. Azola fodder is an excellent alternate feed supplement for livestock, poultry and fish. This is a boon for dairy farmers because, it drastically reduces the feed cost and results in increased milk yield. When it comes to nutrient value, Azola possess high protein content, amino acids, vitamins, minerals like magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. Azola is a highly productive plant and it doubles its biomass in 4 to 10 days period depending on conditions. Let us talk more about growing Azola in this video. Vertical Azola Cultivation Azola can be grown in buckets and it can be arranged vertically. Azola requires light for photosynthesis. As we all know this Azola is water-based crop, one should ensure sufficient water for its cultivation. It is always recommended to have at least 5 inches of water in pond for proper growth of Azola. Azola grows well where the optimum ideal temperature range is 20 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. Higher temperatures above 36 degrees Celsius will seriously affect the multiplication of Azola. For better yield and quality of Azola, it requires the water pH value of 5 to 7 and relative humidity of 80 to 90 percent. Too much of acidic conditions or alkalinity has a negative impact on the growth of Azola. When it comes to requirement of nutrients, Azola absorbs the nutrients from water and phosphorus as most important element. Usually, 20 to 25 ppm of phosphorus in the water is optimum. It is also essential to apply micronutrients which can improve the multiplication and growth of Azola. How to grow Azola? For ensuring better growth of Azola, apply 100 grams of cow dung and 10 to 12 grams of superphosphate once in two weeks for each bucket. Make sure to remove any weeds formed in the bucket regularly. The bucket should be emptied once in 6 to 8 months and cultivation of Azola has to be restarted with fresh culture and soil. Harvesting and Feeding Azola Cultivation Usually, Azola will be ready for harvesting in one week after stalling the culture in the bucket. Azola can be harvested daily after its full growth. Plastic sieves should be used to harvest the biomass from the pond's surface. One can obtain on an average, 250 grams of fresh Azola per day from the one bucket. Harvested Azola can be fed directly or mixed with nutrients and fed to livestock like cattle, sheep, goat, pigs, poultry and rabbits. Azola in dried form can also be fed to livestock. Before feeding Azola to livestock, clean the Azola with fresh water. Dairy farmers are getting excellent profits by avoiding feed cost and also it has been proven, increased milk yield. To get used to the taste of Azola, better to feed it along with the concentrates in the initial stages. If you want to buy Azola seeds, please do contact the number, which is given in video description. This video may help a lot of farmers. Share this video with your all friends. We need your support to do this kind of work. Hope you like this video. Please do subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we publish new video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.